I got a home gym. Hey guys, Tommy from Massonomics here, and that's right, I am now a home gym owner and a garage gym owner to be specific. So if you've known about me or Massonomics very long, I thought forever I would be a commercial gym guy, or at least a gym guy. I never saw myself being a home gym guy, but the tide has turned, history has changed, and here we are. So today I'm gonna take you through my thought process, how I got here, how I changed over, and uh, give you a little tour of the gym and also what some of my upcoming plans for it are too. When I look back at my gym experience since I've been an adult, if we go all the way back to Western Northeast South Dakota in like 2000, I don't even know, 10-ish, I, I go to Aberdeen, I join the local YMCA, and that is where I meet Tanner, the co-owner of Massonomics. We just happen to meet each other through going to the gym at the same time, eventually become friends, and along the way, build something called Massonomics, which many of you are familiar with to this day. And because of that, I think I've always had a soft spot in my heart for commercial gyms. Uh, you know, if I wasn't leaving my house and going somewhere, I would have never met Tanner. Uh, Massonomics probably wouldn't really be a thing. I would have never met a ton of the other guys that I've become friends with through the years through Massonomics. So I always love that community aspect of commercial gyms. And so leaving that behind is always a, a, a tough thing for me and I didn't really see that ever happening. But some things have taken place that made me change my decision. So you go fast forward to uh, December of 2022, my family and I, we leave Western Northeast South Dakota. We move down to Eastern Southeast South Dakota or Crew Falls as you might know it. And this was my first look back at a commercial gym in like, I don't know, eight years. I've been at Massonomics Gym the whole time and life was good at Massonomics Gym. Everything you could ever want was right there. The best equipment, the best guys to train with, the best environment, it was all there. There was no reason to ever want a home gym when you have Massonomics. Especially when you live in Aberdeen, the gyms, no matter where you live, the gym's five minutes away. It's a, it's a small town, close drive, it's easy to get to. So you're not even really saving time. But I moved down here and uh, I joined a commercial gym. It actually happened to be just like a two blocks from my house. And you kind of forget some things about the commercial gym. Uh, l luckily, I trained in the middle of the day, but there still are times you'd go in and the one bench you want is being used or maybe all three squat racks are being used. Not common, but these things did happen. You forget those are things. Also, the equipment is more commercial gym equipment, less power lifting specific equipment. So the equipment leaves something to be desired. You know, a lot of barbells that don't have center knurling. Um, you know, if you're gonna get really picky, you say rubber coated weights, not, not like this premium strength coat stuff we got back here. Uh, and then just some of the machines, uh, not that I'm a big machine guy, but if you're gonna be in a commercial gym, machines are one of the benefits of it. And even there, some of the machines aren't ideal. Fast forward to October of 2023, we buy a house in a different part of town, which means that that old gym is no longer an option. It's, it's, it's a fair bit to get there. So I go to the next closest gym in the area. And again, it's a fine gym. There's nothing wrong with it, but it just leaves some things to be desired. You know, not the best bars, plates are okay. Um, it actually had some better machines, but you're squatting out of a rig, you know, you got mirrors everywhere, just some things that are not ideal, no specialty bars of any kind. And so I start having these thoughts of maybe a home gym is in the cards, like maybe that's something. And really what probably pressed it more for me is that time starts to become more and more valuable. At this point, you know, I have two businesses. I have a web design business, I have Massonomics, I have a wife, I have a three-year-old boy, I have a one-year-old girl. My time is at an absolute uh, max capacity right now. Like I just don't have a ton of time available. And that was where I really started seeing how often I was running to the gym as fast as I could, working out as absolutely fast as I could, and sometimes still having to cut it short. It just, things were starting to feel not sustainable. So we're coming up to the Arnold of 2023 and we're on the way there and I, I mentioned to Tanner, I, I said, you know, I have a feeling that possibly I could be in the you know in the mood for buying some equipment if the if the right deal pops up while we're here and we bring a trailer so we have the means to bring equipment back with us actually every year after the Arnold we we tend to bring a fair amount of equipment back with us and so just kind of keep my eyes open all weekend and uh, talk to the great guys at Bells of Steel and on the last day of the Arnold they had a fifty percent off all of their Arnold inventory. Uh, 
at the booth. And so immediately, that's very interesting to me. I, I stopped over to see what they had. And uh, my one requirement for a rack, or I should say I had a couple of narrow requirements. I just a small list, and it had to be three by three. And I really preferred it to be you know, a standard five ace or one inch hole, something where I could buy attachments and pieces from other manufacturers and know, for the most part, they're gonna work out. And Bells of Steel, they did have this. They had their Hydras uh, series here. So we, we got that, I, I bought that on that day. I got some weight storage for it. Uh, big Grant from the Strength Co. hooked me up. We got some plates taken care of. We got a bar. I got a weight tree. I got some other things from him. So I came home from the Arnold with a decent list or a decent <laughs> collection of equipment to get me going on my home gym. And so that brings me to where we're at now. So I got this stall over here where I can pack as much stuff into as I need to, but at the same time, I'm trying to keep it compact. I don't want to take up the whole area. We got kids stuff. I got some things I got to clean up and move still. So I got this little corner back here that's going to be my gym for the time being and uh, looking through everything. So right off the bat, we got Bernie, just got a fresh haircut, so he's looking a little trim right now. But the first piece is the power rack. It is the Bells of Steel Hydra. You can see we got three by three tubing. We got five eighths inch holes. It also has the west side spacing. And to be honest, I've been super happy with this rack. You know, I've used at Massonomics Gym, we have several six post rogue racks. Um, Functionally, for me, this works just as well. Uh, I don't need a huge, enormous rack. Uh, I feel like I can do everything out of this. I got uh, storage off the back. Works just fine for me. And I like the smaller footprint. It is the flat foot, uh, so I don't have to have it bolted down. And I mean, I've gotten eight workouts in so far, and this has been great. I, I think it's a, a quality item. It's uh, cheaper than a lot of other options out there too, and I could definitely recommend this one. Uh, one thing to note, so this one was used at the Arnold, which is cool, uh, it has a little story behind it, and it's probably hard to show on camera, but there are a few spots in the finish. This is not Bells of Steel's fault, this is our fault when we were leaving the Arnold. We were throwing things on carts, I was running through the parking lot with this thing, I had uprights falling off, we were in a hurry, I threw, we threw it into the trailer, we had parts on parts, so I definitely got a few dings and scuffs. Uh, throughout if you if you look closely you'll see little spots here and there I, I don't really care it's fine with me doesn't bother me doesn't affect the functionality it's totally fine uh, looking at the rest of the setup though uh, I went with the Bells of Seal safety straps I took a little bit of a gamble on their website it said dark orange as the color and I'm, go I'm gonna go for a red theme here I gotta get more pieces but uh, it said dark orange on the website picture it looked a little red uh, it showed up I don't know how good it comes across on camera. I don't know, maybe dark orange is the color. It's definitely not red. It kind of has a pink vibe, honestly, especially when you compare it to the bench underneath, but it's fine, whatever, I can live with that. Uh, we got the Bells of Steel J cups. We have the Strength Co. Standard Bar. Looking nice right there, just a good quality all around bar. No complaints on that. Got a strength coast set up to, I think 495 is what it is. I got four sets of fives, 25s, 10s, fives, two and a halfs, the one and a quarter. Got the whole thing. So that's all good. Uh, the bench, this is one piece I had to debate and think about for a while. After a little bit of research, talking with some guys online, getting some recommendations, I came to the Rep AB5200. And I gotta say, this thing has been rock solid and uh, I love it. Honestly, for the, for the money, I think it was 500 free shipping. You can pick whatever color you want. I did the two-tone red and black. Um, I mean, I'd have a hard time believing you could find a better bench at this price. Uh, you know, I've used bench from, benches from tons of companies, dedicated benches, incline benches, all that. And uh, I don't really know what more you could want out of a bench. I think this thing is awesome. I have no regrets about that. That was a solid purchase. Other items, of course, we got drink spotters. We got drink spotters, drink spotters on drink spotters. Uh, I got a little deadlift jack back there. Nice to have that again. Most commercial gyms in the area don't have deadlift jacks, so good to have that. Right now, stall mats. I'm at two. I think I'm gonna slide everything over, get one more stall mat fitted in here, just because I have more room. I think I'll do that. I also have the weight tree from the Strength Co. A few more plates on there, got my belt, 
I got the tripod, of course, for filming. I got a Rogue Matador. I've been really happy with that the few times I've got to use it. We got the lifters, the shoes, the barefoot shoes, uh, knee sleeves. Those are hanging on the rack right now. And then every gym needs a stereo. So I got the stereo set up here for the time being. The OG Sony from like 2003 or four, still kicking, just never goes away. And that's the gym. So looking at plans for the future. First one, obviously I gotta cover the walls. You know, we got a company that has a lot of banners and flags. The box showed up from Tanner just a couple days ago. I've been super busy, haven't got a chance to put it up, but eventually these walls will be covered top to bottom in all types of massonomics, strength co, barefoot, whoever, whoever supports us makes cool flags. I'll get those on the wall. I also got some wall control coming in the mail. I'd like to get some of this stuff off the floor. Oh, one thing of interest here. Okay, so the wall control. I'll get that going on the wall. Not sure. Maybe over there, maybe over there. But uh, picked up some bands. Got them in just a pile right now. Got a jump rope, you know, a little warm up, nothing too crazy. But I did find these on Facebook Marketplace right here. These Gungnir adjustable one inch dumbbells. And I was pretty surprised to see those pop up. I had to hop on it. Got them at a pretty damn good price. And uh, I got some one inch plates on the way. Just ordered some one inch plates from Amazon. So I'll have some updates on these coming in the future. I'm excited to try these out, but that'll be my dumbbell solution for the home gym. Not a huge dumbbell guy, but with the plates I got ordered, I should be able to load these up to about 50 some pounds. No problem. Uh, overall, impre our first impressions on these though is quality seems really good. Excited to use them. That is the home gym. I'm happy with where it's at so far. I've got to get a few workouts in. Things are going good, but it'll definitely be a work in progress. So I'll be adding pieces in and I'm gonna bring you guys updates, but let me know in the comments, is there something that I need to make sure I have? Is there any must have pieces of equipment that I'm missing or just little gym hacks, storage, something that will make my life better? I'd love to know your thoughts and uh, make sure you're following Massonomics on YouTube. Keep an eye out for the podcast. New episode every single week. Uh, check us out on Instagram and uh, hop over to the website, buy yourself a drink spotter, flags, something like that. Make your home gym look better. See y'all.